Hello, Internet. <laughs> Happy Monday evening. Josh Greeson live at 5 from Forex Boot Camp. How's it going out there? How was your Monday? Is your work week off to a fantastico start? Or is it one of those I hate Mondays Garfield situations? <laughs> I'm just touching base with you all. Uh, I had a... I, well, let me tell you a little bit of history about me first, right? I, some of you know, you know, I have a Christian background. You know, I've always been drawn to theology and those sorts of things. Um, so, the advent of Facebook was an interesting phenomenon in regards to that because it creates almost endless opportunities for silly arguments online, right? Especially with other people who are drawn to theology and have a differing viewpoint on any number of subjects. So, I, you know, years ago, I uh, was really passionate about certain, um, you know, theological positions and things like that. And so, when you believe that your particular beliefs are what is going to kind of set you up for success, especially in the hereafter, you, you, um, you get rather passionate about thinking that everyone else, you know, should, should hear your point of view and hopefully agree with you. So they can be right too, just like you. It's very arrogant, really. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, that's my history. So I, w I found myself, you know, for years in repeated online arguments uh, over just really stuff that amounts to a hill of beans, really, <laughs> in the long run. And uh, so over the last couple of years, I've gotten out of those habits and and uh, not not 100%, okay? I'm not I'm not flawless, but I, I actually fell to fell prey to to Facebook drama the other day. Uh, mildly, I posted like two two comments on a friend of mine's timeline, not to him, but defending basically his post against the assailants that were there with their comments. And uh, that was the first time actually in six months to a year that I've I've commented on a matter of that type, uh, disagreeing with someone basically on a thread. So. Um, and it's been so much more peaceful without doing it. I'm not sure what drew me in, probably because it was my friend and I felt like he was under attack and I felt a need to defend him or something. But anyway, uh, afterward I thought, gosh, where did my mantra go in that, in that moment? How did I end up drawn into that for the first time in so long? It's been so nice to not have those discussions anymore. And life is actually so much nicer. But um, So here's my secret, my big secret, that two years ago, two, three, oh gosh, I don't know how many years it's been now, a couple years at least that's kept me from online drama. Maybe you can take the secret with you and have it benefit you in the same way. And that is, it's an old Polish proverb I learned. I didn't know that. I just knew the saying and, and, it, and I gravitated towards it because it works for me. But the saying is, not my circus, not my monkeys. And as stupid as that sounds, and that means like you're, you're not going to allow yourself to be drawn into a delicate or volatile situation, uh, some explosive, you know, unnecessary argument or drama. Uh, it's not my circus, not my monkeys, it's not my concern. Um, it's just not worth it. And so that silly little phrase, old Polish proverb, I'm not sure from where or who originally said it, but that has kept me from more online drama in the last couple of years than any other thing. I mean, we all know, like, oh, you know, theoretically, I shouldn't get involved in useless arguments and you know it never works out and you never really convince anyone of your point of view and 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 and, and some people probably would watch this and say hey Josh hey Kathy what's up um, they'd say like oh but you don't understand it's just so important I just want to share the truth and you know they're you know these people just don't know and they need to hear this point of view and we need to bring some balance to the conversation or whatever justification it is that we bring um, that makes us want to comment um, I mean, ultimately, out of, uh, gosh, hundreds of those conversations I've had over the years on Facebook, I, I can't name for you any significant one where you've really changed someone that had a dramatically different point of view from me, where I have, anyway, where I've changed their view to mine. I mean, can't say you didn't sow some seeds or whatever, shed a little light on a situation that maybe they'll think about later, and who knows, right? But those are normally happen in friendlier relationally oriented situations where you know the people you know and they have some respect for you as a person and uh you know whatever they know you're not some crazy deceived person and you just don't understand and you don't know anything about anything and especially in religious contexts um 
that can be rather difficult to do. So anyway, I, the fruit of all those conversations was very few and far between. And so uh, we probably know, like, it's probably not going to go anywhere. But somehow we just, something in us just draws us in. We got to say something. And so the thing that's, the one thing that's kept me, kept me scrolling away in these couple years, more than anything, is just to say to myself one time, not my circus, not my monkeys, keep scrolling. And uh, my life has been so much more peaceful. I've been so much more productive. I've spent so much more time with my family than typing long commentary and theological arguments on Facebook to people who don't really care about my viewpoint anyways. Um, so anyway, enjoy your lives. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Keep scrolling, walk away, enjoy. Spend your time more fruitfully and productively. Do something for your future. Do something, you spend time with your family. That's my tip for the day. I hope it was a blessing to you guys. Talk to you later.